with me here, there are six of us here, this comprises 100% of the tourists to Sabutang today. So can you imagine before the COVID pandemic, uh, around 200 to 300 tourists come here daily, but now there's just six of us. So let's hope tourism picks up here, because it's a really beautiful place. For this final episode, we'll leave our motorbike behind and ride a motorized ferry called a Falua to get to Saptang Island, which is the southernmost part of Batanes. We'll then walk through the picturesque villages of Saviduk and Chavayan to see the iconic stone houses and visit their quaint chapels. We'll then cap our journey with a visit to Saptang Church, which is very near Saptang Port. The Falu was a traditional boat of the Ivatan people, and it is used to ferry people between the islands of Batan and Saptang. The Falu is designed to handle the rough waters between Batan and Saptang Islands, which is caused by the currents that crisscross each other. The waves we encountered on the way to Saptang were larger than what I usually see, and it made a lot of passengers seasick. Okay everyone, so uh, yeah, that was a rough boat ride coming here. The waves were really quite high and uh, I must say it wasn't a nice day for several people in the boat, but it is really worth it. Uh, we're here to see actually several interesting sites and what I know about this island is that it's the houses here are all made of stone because of the fact that it receives a lot of typhoons uh, throughout the year so uh, uh, for example let me show you this
So if this is if you see a fossilized coral sa door it shows na yun ha the house was constructed around 1800s and then if it's wooden it was constructed around 1900s Tama. so and this is the cogon roofing ah this can last 30 to 40 years eh? okay and then uh, this is the stone wall to protect them from typhoon and uh, all walls that are facing the north so facing there to the facing here all walls don't have windows right they don't have doors and windows because the strong wind comes from the north yes uh, we call them amihan okay all right hi Tess okay and that's our tour guide Mark You know, walking through uh, the streets in this uh, village it seems like you're walking through uh, medieval Europe or something like that because uh, the houses here look like uh, those places, um, historical places in, um, in Europe actually. It's very interesting, very beautiful. As we walked toward the end of Savitug village, we came across a small and quaint chapel called the St. Thomas Aquinas Chapel. Our guide informed us that it was built around the late 1800s. To its left is the old Bayaterio. It's painted white and blue and so it looks like a house from Santorini, Greece. Nevertheless, its interior seems to reflect a strong Ivatan style. Mark informed us that this chapel was built in around late 1800s for this village. 
So, what do we call this village? We call it Sabitug village. It's the name of a hardwood tree, which is very abundant in this area. Sabitug, Sabitug village. Sabitug barangay. From Savidug village on the eastern part of Sabtang, we traveled to another old village on the southern end of the island called Chavayan. But before reaching Chavayan, we first dropped by Chamantad viewpoint which offers spectacular views of the grassy hills, rocky cliffs and the open sea. In addition to the stone houses, Chavayan village also houses the traditional weavers of Sabtang who specialize in the traditional headdress called Vakul. Hi. We walk this road My favorite spot in the village is Santa Rosa de Lima Chapel with its cogon thatched roof. Although this type of roofing used to be common in Batanes, this chapel is the only one with a cogon roof in the Philippines to date. The chapel was constructed from 1951 to 1959 and is a product of the Ivatan's Bayanihan spirit. It is quite small, but it's situated in a very scenic location. This is the Kogon ceiling. Yeah? Yes. Below the Kogon are the reeds, right? Okay, guys, we're here for lunch. We're at a place called. The Figura Cafe. <laughs> so we're here to try some Ivatan food. Yes. Mm. Hello. It's a really quaint cafe. Let me show it to you.
Okay, folks, so what we have here is called Vunum. So this is the traditional Ivatan way of serving food. It's uh, wrapped in, um, what's this, coconut leaves? Uh, abaya leaves. Abaya leaves. Abaya leaves. Okay, then we remove the wrapping. And um, let's see. Okay, we have uh, the meat here. And then we have yellow rice. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Eh? Rice. Okay. Ano pangalan nyo? Charo Figura. Charo Figura. Ah! Okay, so... The, okay, the, no one is called The Figura Cafe. Okay, so with, well, with the owner. Yan, ha? Alright! Subscribe! <laughs> After a sumptuous lunch, we then proceeded to Sabtang Church, which was our final stop. Okay guys, it looks like there's a wedding here, so uh, let's see if we can feature this church show you the inside hopefully the wedding hasn't started yet but it's quite an old church Sabtang Church is officially called the San Vicente Ferrer Church and it's located near Sabtang Port It was first built as a small chapel in 1785 when the Dominicans opened the first mission in Sabtang. It was eventually recognized as a mission vicariate in 1844, which coincides with the return of the residents to Sabtang from Ivana in nearby Batan Island. To the right of the church's facade stands a pedestal with a stone statue of St. Vincent Ferrer, the patron saint of the parish and of the municipality. The church, convent, and site of the Bayaterio were declared National Historical Landmarks by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines in 2008. The church and its surroundings went through several constructions between 1869 and 1876. It was modeled after Basco Church, both on its floor plan and facade. 